All right, all you Stitch Maniacs out there, I've got my handy dandy Stitch Mania list. Um, here is my bag of the Mania 1 through 15. Um, I did a midway video on that, and then I did the, I think I did it on the 8th and then the 15th, I showed those. So that's what I got going on there. So now I'm going to take you from the 16th to the 31st. Um, on the 16th, here's the progress I've got on my ladybug. Oh, Ellie, you cannot get by. Go away. Thank you. Um, this is a pattern. I can't show you because it's actually just the pattern. It's from 1978. It doesn't have any information on it at all. Um, I'll show you the back of it. It's just an old flyer um, from my stepmom from Once Upon a Time. I think my battery's going to die. I don't think I'm going to be able to get through all this. I may have to split this up. Alright, this was a very busy day for me housewives. Let's see which way does it go. Ah. My cat's trying to climb up on me. Here we go. Okay, this is Freddy Frog again from the 70s. That's as far as I got on Freddy. No, Freddy was the 15th. I'm sorry. Ladybug was the 16th. Kitten and Milk Pail. Now, this is actually the names of the patterns. Um, didn't get very far on this one. It's mostly the white. Um, I was doing the the milk part of the... I'm going to show you the pattern, but I'm going to do it far enough away to where you really can't tell, which you really can't tell anyway because it's hand-drawn. And so it's all kind of jumbled together, and it's really... I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to show you the bottom. It's really hard to read, and what you're seeing is actually what I see. It's, it's yeah, hand-done. Again, that's a 70s pattern. Um, okay, um, the Mania group, um, that is what I worked on on the 18th, and the, I will insert a picture right about here. Okay, and that, that is available for free on the, um, Stitch Mania group on Facebook. And if you're not a part of that group or you would like it and you did participate, because it is for floss tubers as well, you can email me at young40mom, that's Y-O-U-N-G 40-M-O-M at gmail.com, and I will gift that pattern to you for free. Um, next, I worked on Noah's Ark, which was a bookmark. Let's see, and this is out of the... Booksmart Galore Leaflet 2985 from Leisure Arts. And this is how far I got on it. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw a little bit of this. But it's going to be really cute. Let me see if I can find the, the actual picture. I think it's in the back. Yeah. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. Uh, it's not wanting to focus. There we go. It's going to be really cute. Oh, there's a fly in here. That explains why she kept grabbing my leg. All right. Then the next one I did was Faith, Hope, Love bookmark. Um, that is a finish. And that is from the Stony Creek X Marks the Spot leaf uh, book number 451. It was the book that I ordered. Let's see. Where is it at? there. No, that's another one I'm working on. It was from the book that I got from, um, I won a 25 gift card from Nordly uh, in one of her giveaways and I bought that book in some plastic canvas with that. So this is the completed bookmark. I went ahead and put my initials on the bottom. That turned out really cute. I like the colors and everything. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put a piece of felt um, and probably E6000 some felt on the back or do a whip stitch around the edge of that. So that was on the 20th. That was a finish. Next, uh, on the 21st, I did out of my Garfield book. This one is called Easy to Please. And there it is. Can't see that. 
and you can kind of see it says I'm easy to please as long as things go my way you can kind of see his face here he's got a straw over here are going to be some wine glasses um, and a food bowl with lasagna it looks like maybe or spaghetti I can't really tell and then there's a candle that will be over here when I get to work on that again um, next I did the 22nd I did the baby deer design again an old 70s pattern I can't show you um, and it doesn't have any markings at all and it's, the design is all hand drawn but this was as far as I got on it and this is going to be a wreath of flowers that connect with a vine all the way around alright on the 23rd I did um, well it looks like I worked on the stitch mania again whoa I worked on it for three days I need to do three other whips wow I didn't realize I'd done that okay um, on the 24th I worked on my gray squirrel now this one does have information there's quickly the pattern um, it is by Joyce Bailey 1978 country cross, cross stitch out of Tallahassee Florida and here is my squirrel gray squirrel um, got just the tail part done and part of the leaf this is one of those I didn't want to stop a lot of these I didn't want to stop stitching because I really enjoyed working on them these are patterns I've had for years and I never in a uh, stitch mania is the one that made me do it it's making me want to do it all right the next one I don't know where my pattern is um, this is Sammy yeah Sammy snail and all I, I actually, this was, this was, um, I believe they had that to be, where's my pattern? My pattern's gone. Um, it was a bright yellow, and I didn't like it, so I substituted it for 738, because to me, snails have, like, either grayish or tannish shells, so I stuck with the tannish, because I've never seen a green snail. Have you? I've never seen a green one. So I went ahead and, and made, I went ahead and followed the pattern with the green, but I'm going to do the rest in this tan color. I really like it. But look what I did. I blinged up the flowers. I had some glass beads. They're not Mill Hill and they're not seed beads. They're actually a little bit bigger, but they have like these sparkle inside. So I thought that'd be really cute because it's going to end up being a card. So I'll do something special on that. Next we have the Sammy, let's say that was Sammy Snail. Okay, be joyful. This was a free DMC pattern. Another one I did not want to stop. And that's where I got on it. A little bit further than what I posted on my Instagram. And again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I am a young 40 mom. I am young 40 mom everywhere. Even Facebook, even though it says Alicia Matson James, it is young 40 mom. You type in young 40 mom and there I am. All right, next one is... I turn my page and we have sea treasure notice I did a lot of seashell themes as well this is from 1975 from Jay O'Brien and that's from Charleston South Carolina this is when you could go into shops back in the 70s and you paid a quarter for the flyer there we go and I'm liking the colors I wasn't sure how I was gonna like this one or not because it seems so basic but I really like this. Well, my bathroom is done in seashells. Um, an aquatic theme as well as Maddie's. Maddie's is more whimsical with the aquatic animals, but my bathroom has more of the seashells and the um, like ocean theme type. So this is probably going to go up in my bathroom. I don't know why I waited so long to stitch these. They've been so much fun. And then the next is the Gingham Girl and the Denim Boy. I uh, can't see that. <laughs> I like how I did that. But here's what it looks like in the colors. Um, I, I think I've got this completely stitched. I just have to do some back stitching on it. But it turned out really cute. But he doesn't have, they don't have faces. So, And then on the 29th, the other one was Sea Treasures. This one is called Seashells. And it's from the same era. Um, and see if I can get this right. Got to finish doing the green on that, but 
This has got some backstitching that needs to be done to it to make it really pop and stand out, but the, the different types of shells. Um, and then there's a conch shell that's supposed to be over here. Again, this will probably go in my bathroom as well. That turned out really cute. Oh, oh, oh excuse me. All right, and day 30, I did my chipmunk. Again, from the same time and era. Um, the Joyce, this was Joyce C. Bailey instead of the other, I don't know why it says O on the other. Anyway, this is 1977. Uh, but here's my chipmunk. And it's turning out really cute. Again, I, another one I didn't want to put down. There's a couple of acorns that go down here and a leaf, but I'm actually going to put them a little bit closer because he's eating an acorn in his mouth. He's got an, or in his paws, he's got an acorn. Um, of course, the back stitch will point that out, and then I've got to put some more black in here and finish his tail, but... Um, there's two acorns and like I said, I'm, they've got them far away from him. I'm going to move it a little bit closer to him to put it more to scale. But I did it on a 14 count Ada, but it's like a, a wheat color or a wheat type. And Storytime Sampler is going to be my finale since uh, I've, I've stashed it away. But everybody knows what that looks like. Everybody knows about the Storytime Sampler. Everybody knows what all it entails. So that's what I've got. That's my Stitch Mania. That's my update. That's all I've been working on. Um, my next update will be finishing these sti sti <laughs> Stitch Mania. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's finishing these Stitch Mania projects. I, um, um, let's see. I think I got a little bit further on my other bookmarks. I don't know if I did or not. If you got to see these or not, this is the dreams. I don't think I, I haven't worked on any of these since you last saw them. So that's, that's my next, I took the day off for stitching today. Um, kind of catch a breather and regroup, decide what I'm going to do. So not only do I have, um, actually ended up having 30 starts on this one because, um, I worked on the, uh, my Stitch Mania project for two days and did not mean to. That was next night. I think I got to working on it and didn't realize I'd already written it down. But anyway, so that's what I'll be working on. I'll be working on all these wonderful projects that I started for my Mania. And then I already had four whips. I'm going to whip you around. Let's see if I can get the camera up and around. So I've got my Noah sub there. I've got my my daughter's uh, portrait there that I'm going to work on, and then that's some more stash for another video. I'm going to get all squared away. That's my little scrap materials. I take my old um, sweatpants or jeans or whatever and use them for uh, patchwork. Yeah. So, and then over here, of course, is my bag, my floss. Um, I don't have nearly as much floss as most of you have. It just blows me away. Uh, of course, I don't have any specialties. I finally got my first week's dye works that um, my anonymous gifter gifted me, um, which I'm pretty excited about. I've got one more whip that I was going to start. Um, it's called Self-Improvement Kick. Um, it's a, another... Oops, that glare's bad. Sorry. There we go. Yay. It's another Garfield pattern. It's a two-pager. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So let me redo the camera. I've got the stand, since the legs are half broken, I've got them on a box in between my legs at my craft table. So that's what I've got going on. Those are all my Stitch Mania projects. Everything's going to go in this bag, and I guess I will pull them out one at a time and start working on them. Um, I also have uh, Cross Stitch It's Fun group, Stitch Along, going, doing the, um, oh, what am I doing on that one? Oh, the sampler, um, the woodland sampler, and, oh, excuse me, and then on the, um, yeah, we've got uh, Orange is the New Black coming up, um, some people are going to be doing the Stitch Mania. Uh, I think Angie was talking about it, doing it on black and in the orange variegated, which I can't wait to see. That's going to be amazing. Um, yeah, feel free 
with that pattern like I said it's free if you want to alter anything you go right ahead you want to fill in the letters you go right ahead I'm anxious to see what everybody else comes up with because I kind of did it on the fly um, I wanted to get it done and out there for you guys um, by the end of the month so again that free pattern um, I'll leave a link to the group below uh, let me make myself a note or I will forget to do that oh yep yep can't write with an exacto knife can you no, Alicia, you cannot. All right, so this is me making a note. And I still am going to do Pam's um, stitchy tag. Yeah, I've, I've got I've got it on my to-do list, but this, this Stitch Mania took up all my time. I did not want to stop. I didn't want to put it down. I took the time to feed my child, bathe my child, put her to bed, and stitch some more while doing marathon on the... Uh, Showbox and Netflix. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give you guys the link to Stitch Mania Group. And I don't think I don't think I was gonna link anything else. Um, and if you're interested, I do make my own patterns. Um, if I do picture patterns from artwork or photographs I do get them from a uh, free public domain site that I am a member of it's called I think picnic I, I can't remember the name right now but anyway um yeah so go check out my Etsy shop the link to the Etsy shop will be below the link to my Facebook um, my Facebook shop it will be below and if your in kids are interested in watching my daughter Maddie has her own channel it's kind of goofy uh, but it's for the kids. So anyway, that's all I've got. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Subscribe, like. I appreciate everybody. Um, I am going to do the giveaway for June, like of the three patterns. I'm going to post four. You you vote on three. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to post four patterns, just like I did for May, and then I will be giving away three of the four patterns, and it will be in PDF form. Uh, I will have the drawing on the 15th, just like I did last time. Um, so I will probably post that tomorrow. I was only going to run it for 10 days, but because I'm not going to be putting it up till the 2nd, um, I am going to let it run through the 15th. Um, so look forward to that. And I guess that's it. Peace out. <laughs>